However, these tendencies can foster a negative environment for you and your partner, which will ultimately end your relationship for good. So to help you prevent this from happening, here are seven bad habits that can kill a relationship. Before we start, we would like to remind you that this video is designed for educational purposes only and is not implying that these are habits that determine whether you should or shouldn't end your relationship. If you recognize any of these habits in your relationship and feel like it's causing you distress, we recommend talking to your partner or somebody you trust to get support. Number one, constantly comparing to other people, including exes. Do you still think about your ex a lot? While some breakups can be painful and hard to get over, it's important that you deal with those feelings first before entering into a new relationship. If not, you may end up constantly comparing your new partner to your ex and feeling disappointed whenever they do something differently. Your partner is an individual with their own likes and dislikes, and it's important you accept them for who they are and not how they compare with others like your ex. Number two, allowing jealousy to take over. Have you ever been overcome with jealousy? While it's quite common to feel a little possessive over your loved ones, it can become toxic when you allow those feelings of jealousy to overcome you entirely. You may end up suspecting or doubting your partner's trust and loyalty to you and start to overstep your boundaries and invade their privacy. Ultimately, if these feelings aren't addressed or communicated properly, it can lead to a breakdown of the relationship entirely. Number three, not being in the present moment. Do you feel like your partner is distracted when you're spending quality time together? The fast pace of life, particularly when you have to balance home and work roles, can lead to couples developing habits, such as catching their meals on the go or working on their phones in bed. This can cause either partner to feel unacknowledged and underappreciated and lead to friction and distance to develop in your relationship. Number four, lying to your partner. Have you ever lied to your partner because you believed that the truth would have hurt them? Whether you believe it's to protect them or that it's in their best interest to not know the truth, deceiving your partner can cause trust issues to emerge and cause your relationship to break down in the long run. Number five, timing discussions badly. Ever had an argument that happened at the worst possible time and place? Maybe you've had a long and stressful work day or you're in the presence of colleagues or friends. Conversations involving serious and important matters have their own time and place. To bring it up when you or your partner is already stressed and overwhelmed can end up causing you to feel undermined and embarrassed. Number six, taking your partner for granted. Does your partner acknowledge the things you do for them? Maybe they don't say thank you as much as they should because they've come to expect favorable treatment or you've started to expect them to come to you at your beck and call. It's very easy to take someone for granted, especially if you've been in the relationship for a long time. Refusing to acknowledge or appreciate your partner's efforts in your relationship can ultimately harm your relationship in the long run. And number seven, commenting on how you look in a negative way. Do they make snide remarks here and there about your looks? When you're in a relationship with someone, especially for a long period of time, you're going to look different than you did when you first met. Maybe you've changed your diet, started exercising, or developed a medical condition. Whatever the case, making comments about each other's appearance in a way that is offensive or mean can have a serious impact on both you and your partner's self-esteem. This, in turn, can impact your relationship negatively, possibly to the point of ending the relationship. Do you notice any of these habits in yourself or your partner? If so, Recognizing these tendencies is the first step in improving your relationship. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go like posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.